everyone and welcome back to my channel today. Today we're going to be talking about something that I've been doing for two weeks and it has really helped me. I have been feeling better than I've felt in a long time since all my pot symptoms began a little over six months ago. So if you'd like to find out what I've been doing to feel better, then just keep watching this video. So a lot of you who have POTS or dysautonomia, I know that your goal is to treat your POTS as naturally as possible. And that is my goal as well. But when I saw the specialist when I was officially diagnosed uh, in the beginning of June this month, he went over the natural plan and all the things that I need to be doing. And of course I made the video all about the natural things that I do do every day to help with my symptoms. But he told me since my case was more on the severe side that there were a couple of medications that he wanted to try me on. Now, I've only started taking one medication and I've been on it for two weeks. And that medication's name is Flood Ugh, cannot talk. Fludrocortisone. And if you haven't heard of it, I'm here to talk all about it. So Fludrocortisone is a synthetic form of a steroid that can cause you to retain salt and thus increase your, your water retention. And this is excellent for people with POTS because basically in the treatment of POTS, it allows your circulating volume to increase and therefore alleviate a lot of the symptoms that POTS sufferers face every day. And studies and experiments, not experiments, but experience from patients have shown that fludrocortisone is really helpful in doing that. Particularly, it's useful in POTS because they're suspected a lot of times of having a low blood volume and it can really help increase their blood volume. You know, you're holding on to that salt, thus you're retaining water, you're keeping your circulation going, and so you're seeing a lot of improvement in some of your symptoms. For example, if you have that blood pooling in your legs, and you're not getting, you don't have a lot of blood there to begin with to circulate through your body, this is going to help with that and help alleviate the blood pooling and a lot of the associated symptoms with POTS. Now I'm going to be honest, when he first told me I was going to be starting on fludrocortisone, I was nervous once I found out that it was a steroid. So I was like, trying to work out in my head. No, I'm just going to do all the natural things. You know, I'm going to do them better. I'm going to do them more and I'm not going to take any medication. But, you know, I just got to thinking, you know, if this can help improve my functionality, this doctor knows what he's talking about. And my husband reminded me, you know, when is it time? When is it going to be time to trust someone? So let's put our trust in this doctor who seems to really care and know what he's talking about. So I was like, okay, and I decided to take the plunge, but I reached out to my doctor beforehand and he gave me some good information on what exactly fludrocortisone is. Because you think the word steroid and you're like, oh, you know, that's scary, especially if you're gonna be on long-term. But he reminded me that it is a mineral corticoid. And so what does that mean? It's used only for its mineral properties. So the salt. It's helping you retain that salt that your body is just flushing out. And so by doing that, you're able to have water retention uh, resulting in your blood volume expanding, your circulation improving. So when he explained that to me, and you can do your own research too, it really helps you to understand how this medication works and how it is safe. And so yeah, that... That made me feel a lot better and I decided to go ahead and take the plunge. Now, as far as my dosage, I am on the beginning dose of just 0.1 milligrams of fludrocortisone acetate and that's once a day and I take it in the morning. And so I'm just on that initial dose of 0.1 milligrams. Now, I know a lot of you are probably wondering, like I was, what are the side effects? What is this pill gonna do to you? You may have some benefit, but is it worth it if you're having all these other crazy side effects when you're already so sick and you don't want any more additional um, suffering? So what kind of side effects am I experiencing? Well, let's talk about it. The side effects that I am experiencing are nothing. 
Okay, I can't say nothing, but basically nothing. The only side effect that I have noticed in the past two weeks is that I feel bloated in my stomach and just like that feeling like you're really bloated or full, but it's really not bothersome to me because I am so used to that anyways, as a lot of pot sufferers are. You know, we have digestive issues. It's not working right. We're always bloated. You know, we have problems digesting foods, etc. So if that's the only side effect that I am going to experience, that will be wonderful. I can't say that as it's only been two weeks, but you would think that in the initial phase, you would be experiencing more side effects and then them taper off. So that's good news for me is so far it's highly tolerated by me and I'm feeling pretty good. No crazy side effects. And that was my worst fear. And I know it is for a lot of people, you know, you have this pill in front of you and you're like, do I take it? Is it worth it? I don't want to, you know, pass out or keel over, you know, our minds go crazy, but I'm here to tell you that for me, at least nothing crazy has happened. So let's now talk about the most exciting part, and that is what are the benefits that I have seen from taking this just in the past two weeks. Number one, I have noticed a huge increase in energy and motivation. I am not in bed all day. I was in bed for months, months, barely getting out, you know, just to go to the bathroom or to get something to eat if I even felt like eating. So that is huge to me, not just lying around in bed feeling awful, feeling depressed, you know, you get so depressed when you become chronically ill and it's really hard to get out of that cycle. But since starting this, I have a lot more energy. And when I stand up before it was like, you know, I was dizzy, I was lightheaded, you know, I would have presyncope or, you know, things like that. And, and I would have to get up really slowly every time I stood up. Now I'm standing up like I did before. I'm not like thinking in my mind, okay, Whitney, uh, slow down, think about it, you know, get to the edge of the bed and then stand up slowly. It's like, no, it's like before I'm just standing up, which is crazy to me because I got so used to having to stand up so slowly. Now in the mornings, I'm still careful because, you know, you've been laying down all night. Um, so I'm so careful there because you do tend to feel a little bit worse when you first wake up. But anyways, um, another huge one is, drum roll, <laughs> brain fog. This, it has decreased huge, hugely. Brain fog was one of my worst symptoms when this all began and throughout the last six months. I mean, and it was a constant everyday thing. Well, I can't say constant, but pretty, pretty regular. I would have periods of brain fog throughout the day. I could not think straight. My I was in just this huge fog all the time and it was so bothersome. Well now, I hardly have brain fog at all and I'm being 100% honest with you. Uh, it's not an everyday thing anymore. It's, you know, a little bit in every few days and I just, I can't even remember the last day that I had it. And so, that's pretty great and I'm very happy about that because brain fog is such a nuisance, as I'm sure you know, if you have it. Um, another thing, and I have a list here that I can reference so that I don't forget things, but another thing is the tachycardia I still get, and some days are worse than others because, as you know, we have, you know, really episodic days where we just feel pretty bad throughout the day, no matter what we do. But that tachycardia has not been as high as often. I've noticed that. Like, I can be on my feet a lot more before it starts to get, you know up there and um, yeah that's just wonderful because before the slightest thing you know getting up to go to the bathroom or maybe get something to eat and standing there in the kitchen for a few minutes it was like oh, I'm running a marathon I have to go lay back down again I'm not getting that as often so that's wonderful too um, something else let's see oh something that's great that's happened is I have been able to wash dishes who would have thought that would be an exciting thing to celebrate but it is because you get so sick you're in bed you're relying on other people to help you with your housework like for me my mother-in-law has been coming over every day pretty much for the last six months to help me with my children and help me with housework and she's been doing dishes well 
Not only have I been able to do the dishes the last few days, she did not come over one time for the last eight days because I didn't call her. I didn't say, hey, I need you. I mean, I've been okay and that is huge and you feel like you get this bit of independence back and you feel like you're doing it and it's just, you know, wonderful. So yeah, that's another huge milestone is being here alone with my kids and feeling like I can handle it. That's huge. And this may say sound dramatic because I've only been on it for two days, but I am telling you two days, I mean two weeks, but I'm telling you that these things are true. And I'm so happy I decided to take the plunge and start this medication. Before I started, I did reach out to a few people on social media who had, who have POTS and who have started this medication just to get some encouragement to go ahead and do it. And many of them have the same story, you know, after about four days, they're already feeling so much improvement and that it's given them their life back. They're not just in bed all day. And I'm starting to realize that that is so true, at least for me. And so if you're being prescribed this medication, perhaps it's sitting on your shelf and you're, you're hesitant, you don't want to start taking it, try it. You know, you never know. If your doctor has prescribed this to you, it's because they believe the benefits outweigh the risk. And in my case, so far it's going swimmingly. I am so happy that I started taking it and yeah. I guess that's pretty much it. If you have any further questions about fludrocortisone or anything like that, if you need some motivation, just leave me a comment and we can interact and I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Keep on coming back. Subscribe, like, and hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I am releasing new videos. I have been making new videos pretty regularly. I released a new video every day last week almost, I think it was. So I'm just trying to get, you know, the knowledge out there, the awareness, you know, I want to reach as many people as I can and I want us to grow together, learn together and just, you know, build one another up with knowledge and encouragement. So thanks again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.